Hey guys, welcome back to my 100 most popular algorithm series. I hope you are liking this series. So far, I am back with another video. Uh, in this particular challenge, we are going to take a look at binary tree, zigzag level or a traversal. Now it is pretty similar to a previous challenge that we solved which was just a level or a traversal. Now in this particular uh, challenge, they have added a bit of twist where we need to uh, respect the zigzag uh, order. So I'll explain how that works. So the level of the traversal is simple, right? So you traverse every level and then store it uh, here in, in the output. Every level is stored separately in its own list, right? But the traversal was happening from left to right uh, at every level. Now here in this particular problem, zigzag level, what we need to do is first level will traverse left to right, then second will be traversed uh, right to left, third will be from left to right and so and so forth. So that's a little twist that, that is being added. Right, so let's begin coding of this problem. Now firstly, uh, we will first implement the level order traversal as it was implemented in the previous video and then we'll worry about the zigzag part later on towards the end of the video. So let's uh, begin the implementation. So I need a queue in order to tra uh, keep track of all the nodes. So I'll import it. Okay, now first thing first, we need to do some sanity checks. So if the root is missing, uh, if we do not, then we cannot do any traversal. So we'll remove an empty output. Great, so after that, I'll instantiate my queue so that I can use it. And to begin with, I'll put my first uh, root uh, node in the queue. Now we need a loop while the queue is not empty so that we can keep tracking all the nodes and all the levels. Great, so after that uh, we will need a current level uh, variable uh, which will keep track of my current level that I'm at. Okay, and then after that we will need to compute a size. So size is the size of the queue at this point, right? So the, which is the length of uh, oops, sorry, uh, q, q dot size. That's the method that we need to use to extract the size of the queue. So that is the size of the current level. Now while, uh, you know, uh, whatever is the size, we need to loop over that many times. Yeah, and uh, we need to extract one one node uh, from the queue and add it in the level. So we'll extract our node from the queue using queue.get. Okay. Now we'll add that uh, node in the current level. So I'll append it. And I'll say node dot value, which which comes from here. Okay. Now in the uh, in the same process, uh, we need to also prepare the queue for the next iteration, meaning the next level, right? So we need to whatever is the left and right child of this particular node, we will have to push it in the queue. So we'll do that. So if node has some left child, then I'll append it in the queue. So I'll do this node.left. Similarly, for the right child. Great, then we'll reduce the size. Okay. So after this, uh, you know, that particular level will be ready. So we'll then append it in the output, which reminds me we need an output array to track, keep track of all the levels. So here I'll add my current level in the output. And once my queue becomes empty, meaning all the levels are traversed, then I'll just simply return the so this is uh, obviously not enough. This is the solution of the previous source, uh, problem, which was level order traversal. But I still want to uh, verify it, so I'll run it. Uh, now this will fail, but I just want to uh, know that at least the level order was successful, and yes, it was. Okay. So we have reached that milestone. Now we'll have to worry about the zigzag level order. So here we need to have a reverse flag. Okay, and that we will uh, keep on flipping this. Uh, in order to zigzag between the levels okay so the first uh, it is by default false because first level we don't want any reversal so we will uh, start with false at the first level and then second level onwards we'll uh, use the reversal so here what we'll check is before 
so once our current level is ready we need to check if we need to reverse it or not if we need to reverse it then we will reverse it right as simple as that yeah and then after that uh, oops not this we will have to flip it so that in the next level it will not get reversed so that is done like this yeah hopefully that should result in the zigzag order that we are looking for yeah it worked great i'll just submit my code yeah it was accepted so yeah that's how we solve this problem uh, i hope you liked this coding challenge for more coding challenges like this stay tuned to my channel and i'll see you in the next one bye